everybody out there, how you doing? This is going to be part seven of the garage build. Unfortunately this week I haven't been able to get on with a lot. I've been out cutting my front lawn and the borders with my weed whacker. And it's basically taken me forever, you know, this has taken me three days just to cut this front lawn. So what I did the day before yesterday, I put an order in for a petrol mower on Lazada. Let's go and have a quick look. It arrived today. Okay, I'm gonna open this up, have a quick look. I'm not gonna give you a product review on it. It's a day room. Four stroke. You know, I look at the reviews on it, and they look quite good. Um, a Honda, the same sort of 18 inch blade, is around 13,000 bar. This cost me seven and a half thousand, so fingers crossed we're not going to have any problems with it. You know, Daewoo, that's uh, Korean, so this is a grass bag. I'm going to cut this box up because I'm not going to lift it out there. It weighs a ton. It's going to need assembling. It's a 2.5 kilowatt motor, 139 cc. Okay, this is a, a good manual as well because it's all in English. Generally, why when I buy stuff, obviously I live in Thailand, so a lot of the manuals and documentation are all in Thai, but this one's in English, which is good. It'll allow me to construct it, put it together by using the booklet. I normally have to do it by trial and error. Yeah, I can't wait. That should save me a great deal of time when cutting the lawn now. Well, this is how far I got. I've been taking the rubble over in this paint pot. It's not ideal, wheelbarrow would be nice, but as you can see, there's no real way of getting it through. But basically the rubble needs to go to the top of that beam down there. I'm gonna build it up probably a couple of inches from the top there, and then I'm gonna put the soil from out the back on the top. This beam's pretty level, as you can see. And there's a lot to be filled up here. I mean, you've got another seven eight inches there and it slopes up and this was leveled off from the end there where my truck is you can see we've got two or three inches there and it goes to about an inch and a half there but this has got to go right the way across and I'm not sure I'm gonna have enough dirt out the back it's Friday now like I say I've been trying to do an hour every night but it's been absolutely bucking it down with rain today yesterday day before stop start stop start not ideal but not a lot I can do I thought once I get this all sealed in I'm going to be able to whiz on even if it does rain but I can't hi everybody out there how you doing well I haven't been able to get on with the garage over the weekend um Saturday I was busy cutting the rest of the guava trees down as you can see there I've still got a few to do at the back there, but I'm going to try and get on with them in the week. You see my new little chainsaw I bought, 10 inch one, 10 inch blade. It does the trick, but unfortunately after about two or three trees, the, play, the blade goes blunt. Um, you can see I managed to sharpen it up a bit with a file, but it's not a very good quality one. I don't think it's that hard, so I might order a new one off Lazada and hopefully get a better 
quality hardened one. Yeah, along with cutting the rest of the guava down, I've got my new lawnmower. Going over a lot of the ground here, trying to get it all leveled out. And if I can keep it cut down now with the mower, it'll save me a lot of work. And I won't have to get that bloody weed whacker out, which is noisy, time consuming. As you can see there, it takes a bit of time now to cut through the wood. So it looks like it needs another sharpen. Anyway, let's go and look at this mower, shall we? Yeah, you can see I've been using the lawnmower to hack some of this down. It's been a bit difficult. I mean, the maximum cut is about four or five inches. So I've been having to lift it up and drop the blade down on the longer grass. When well, it does the job, but there's a lot of rocks down there, you know? And basically Sunday, I didn't get any work done. I had to go to the dentist and have the three teeth extracted, you know, which wasn't nice. And uh, it left me in a lot of discomfort and pain and I weren't prepared to do any work after that. So hopefully I can make up for it this week. Come on, let's get cracking, shall we? So there it is. Daewoo, 139 cc, 2.5 kilowatt. And to be honest, I'm quite impressed with it. It's a four stroke engine. Get a couple of squeeze on the bulb there. done a great job and it's so much quicker you know well, I think the garden's looking quite nice now it's all lovely and cut get rid of this sand pile get the beds done in there but obviously I want to get the garage done first hopefully I want to stick a pond in here or some kind of water feature I've got some bushes growing here which I want to grow up to about this high at the end and then behind them I'm gonna Put up some kind of rockery put some more plants in there obviously i want to get a, a wall up there i need a big gate on the front lots and lots of work to be done i'm even going to teach jennifer how to use it maybe not quite yet but i've taught my wife Tang, she knows already. Do you want to learn how to use it, Jen? Yes. Yeah. You have to hold that orange handle in at the top. Pull it right in to the handlebar. Go on, pull it. Pull it hard. That's it. You've got to hold that and then you push that one to go forward. But you don't want to hold them both. This orange one keeps the engine running and this one makes it go forward. So let's go of the black one. Just push it, nid noy, nid noy, nid noy. Okay. Do you want to have a go? Shall I start it? Don't touch the black one yet. As soon as you let go of this orange one, the engine stops, okay? Jennifer, now I don't have to cut the lawn anymore. 
Jennifer can do it for her pocket money. That's it, turn it round. And back the other way. Okay, stop. Let go, turn the engine off. Turn the engine off, let go. There you go. Yeah, did you like that? That's learning. I'm a teacher. But anyway, it's now Monday. I've just finished school. I want to get some more of this garage done this week. Yeah, so I need to get a lot more rubble over from your mother-in-law's here. What I've been doing, I've been breaking it down with a hammer, trying to get it as small as possible. You can see I've cleared quite a lot over there. I'm probably not going to need all this, but there's still a fair amount left. So I'm going to try and get cracking, get the rest of that over this week. I've got a big mound of dirt out the back there, so if I can get the rubble, you know, within a couple of inches, I think I've got enough dirt there to try and level the rest off. If not, I'm going to have to try and get a tip truck of dirt, which being rainy season, is going to be very difficult because they don't like digging it out because it's you know it's saturated with water um, it's normally done in the dry season so we'll see hello boys here's me two staffies it's jelly jelly and it's pookie oh, they're little monsters but you can see everything's been overgrown the wife's been trying to hack some of this down i mean stuff's been growing two or three inches a bloody day here we cleared the mound of dirt that's what i've got to shift over I'm hoping it's going to be enough so that's what I'm going to get cracking on with today I'm going to wheelbarrow some of it out the back I'm just going to tip it in a big pile and we'll level it out later when we get the hardcore over come on let's get cracking as you can see I broke my pickaxe handle digging it out where it's so bloody hard um, I reckon there was a fault as well in this pickaxe so I didn't put a lot of strain on it and it just <coughs> shattered on me I might be able to use it like that for a bit. You know, it's, we've had a lot of rain. Might have softened up the dirt out there. Boy, that's bloody hard work. And another problem I've got, it's full of bloody ants. There's a huge ants nest in there. Don't know if you can see this. Ouch! They are everywhere. And they're biting that bloody hell out mate so i'm going to stop this i'm going to start getting some of this rubble over maybe i'm going to give that a spray with some ant spray before i start but i'm not going to do it today i'm not prepared to get bitten like this let's go and move some of this rubble shall we yeah so i've been using my club hammer just been breaking out into smaller portions i don't want large voidy areas underneath the cement the concrete well i'm going to call it a day today i've done about an hour hour and 20 minutes I'm knackered, I'm sweating like a pig, and I need a drink. So, hopefully, we'll get these ants out of there tomorrow. We can carry on getting this soil back in. That was only two barrels load, so hopefully, we can get a load more in. I want to get some more hardcore in this part, and then we can start laying some dirt on top and packing it down. Yeah, my, my mouth is still hurting from the extractions on this side. I've got to go back next week and have another three done on this side, so I'm not looking forward to that. Not a very nice experience. 